नमस्ते नाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन कथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणि भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि बत्वासंदा भगवदीते भवत्षिणि भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस shower of the nectar like knowledge of non dualism in your 18 chapters o my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon thee now krishna vandana vasudeva sutam devam kansa chanura martanam devakim paramanandam krishnam vande jagat o son of vasudeva the slayer of kansa and chanur extreme delight of mother devaki o lord krishna supreme teacher of the universe my salutations to you and today we will uh, take up the reading of uh, 29th shloka of karma yoga the third adhyay of uh, shrimad bhagavad gita <coughs> prakrutir guna sammudha संजंते गुणकर्मसु तानकुत्सनविदो मंदान कुत्सनविन्न विचालयेत श्री कृष्ण से श्री कृष्ण स्टलिंग अर्जुन द सीक्रेट काइन व्हाट मेक्स अ पर्सन गेट अटैच्ड टू द वर्क इट इज द गुणास ऑफ द प्रकृति व्हिच ड्यूड द पर्सन which create this delusion in the mind that i am the doer and that's how with this feeling of i am doing it i am taking care of it then we get attached to the work that we are doing and we also get attached to the fruit of work and uh, shri krishna in the previous shloka of uh, 28th shloka has uh, told us that uh, one who discriminates one who analyzes once who seeks this knowledge he comes to know that it is the gunas the sattva rajas tamas of the senses they make us get attracted to the sattva rajas tamas of the sense objects and this union of the gunas of senses with the gunas of the sense object compels us in performing the activity with attachment to it but if a knower of brahman he knows very well that it is all the game of delusion the maya that prakriti has created so let me not get attached to the work as such i have come to this world i have to do some work the lord has given me the work i have to do it i have to do it whole heartedly that is what a gnani feels he doesn't say i am doing it for for a gnani for an enlightened one it is the lord's work that he is doing even if he has to work on a project a software development or uh, Uh, in in the manufacturing sector he has to work on the process line it is for him it is all god's work let me not bother about the uh, how it is going to be perceived how it is going to be assessed and all those things that work has come to me i have to do it whole heartedly most with most dedication with most honesty most sincerity i have to do it now shri krishna says that prakrute guna sammudha guna sammudha is deluded by the gunas the people who are deluded by these sattva rajas tamas 
of prakriti of the prakriti of the nature this entire creation is filled with these three gunas which result in creating illusion of me and mine the differentiation starts the moment these three gunas they come into picture with the creation of prakriti so people who are deluded by the three gunas of the nature prakrute he guna sammudha sanjante guna karmasu sanjante is they are attached they are so much attached to guna karmasu in the functions in the activities which are compelled to be performed by these gunas with attachment an akritsna vidaha an is those akritsna vidaha those people of imperfect knowledge those people who have not got the realization who have not got the enlightenment of those people now shri krishna is telling that of those people tan akritsna vidaha mandan those have not got enlightenment like those are the foolish people what is to be done with them kutsnavit no vichala ye those foolish people who have not realized the ultimate truth that these gunas are forcing us to get attached to the karma those kind of foolish people how should the people with knowledge how should they treat them krutsnavit those who have attained perfect knowledge how they should treat them krutsnavit no vichalayet the people with perfect knowledge who have understood the trick that these gunas are playing on us which makes us attached to the work they should not no vichalayet they should not unsettle the minds of these foolish people who have not realized the ultimate truth and under that delusion of i am doing the work let them do it doesn't matter clearly also shri krishna says that a person with knowledge should not try to dissuade people who have not got enlightenment the ignorant ones from their path if they are engaged in work if they are engaged in work let them work at least they are doing something doesn't matter even if it is with attachment a time will come a time will come when these people when their eyes will get opened and then they will realize then there will come that paradigm shift and then they will say oh my god all these days i have been thinking i am doing this work i am doing this i am doing that but in reality i am just an instrument in the hands of my mother i cannot do anything unless mother wishes i cannot do anything unless lord wishes i am just an instrument that stage will come but till such time don't dissuade them from performing the activities that they are doing let them so that is shri krishna's advice again and again people must Uh, doing something rather than sitting idle and absolutely doing nothing those deluded by the gunas of prakriti get attached to the functions and activities of the gunas they they, they do it with all attachment to it is my work if i don't do it who will do it you know that kind of uh, thinking they have it is my responsibility it is my duty i i i always at the back of the man of perfect knowledge should not unsettle the mediocre his knowledge is is imperfect should not unsettle that uh, thinking of the foolish person who thinks i am doing it he should not let them continue to do it no differentiation can be made between the skin and the pulp in a tender fruit till the fruit is tender it is not ripe it is very difficult from the outer uh, feel to differentiate between skin and the pulp and they are also it is not ripened it has not matured so it is difficult to 
identify which is pulp, which is skin, just from the outer look. It is only after it matures and ripes that this difference comes out. And then we say, then the skin peels off easily and then we say, oh, this is skin, this is pulp. Till the time it is not ripe, till the time that fruit is immature, it is extremely difficult to differentiate between the skin and the pulp. Even so, the mediocre, foolish, what uh, Krishna has uh, talked about, mandan in this shloka, vidaha mandan, that kind of mandapuddhi, that kind of foolish people, that kind of ignorant people who have not realized the true self. That even so, the mediocre make no distinction between action fabricated prakriti and the actionless atma. They don't differentiate. They don't say, they can't, they can't realize that it is the Lord's work, it is the Mother's work. They feel it is their work. They are therefore entangled in karma. And taking this responsibility unnecessarily of I am doing it. It is a foolish responsibility. No work uh, is done by us. It is all ordained. It is all decided by Divine Lord. And we start feeling it is my work. So foolishly we keep attaching ourselves and we get entangled into that karma. Attempt at discrimination between Atma and Prakriti will only lead to confusing of understanding. And till the time these people, these ignorant people, they are not ready to reach that level of understanding. They are not ready to reach that level of realization. There is no point. Just keep on telling them, this is not your work, this is not your work, this is not your work. If he is a real dull guy, what will happen? He will say, oh, it is not my work. Fine, I will stop doing the work. And Sri Krishna doesn't want. Sri Krishna wants everybody to work. Even these ignorant ones, doesn't matter. Let them work even under that false notion of I am doing it. Because sitting idle is the worst thing. And that is not practical basically. That is what Sri Krishna has told us. Even when we are not supposed to do any work, some functions are already going on. Our breathing goes on, our seeing goes on, our hearing goes on, our smell goes on. And all these activities continue to happen whether we like it or not. So there is no point dissuading the people who are working with attachment to the work not perform any work. Don't dissuade them. And in this particular connection, uh, I, I always remember our uh, Holy Mother uh, Sarda Devi Ma's words. That, uh, uh, Ma, Ma used to tell her disciples that to work alone can one remove the bondage of karma. This bondage that we get entangled without realizing this is the a of gunas in the prakriti that is making us work, work, work. This bondage of karma that we can remove only by performing work, not by avoiding work. And Ma says that total detachment, it comes much later. It is the last stage of the self-realization. Detachment comes much later. Then Ma says, Ma further uh, teaches her children that one should not remain without work even for a moment. So, what uh, Ma has actually uh, uh, reiterated what Sri Krishna has told in this shlok uh, and uh, he has told to Arjuna. But, uh, Ma has uh, told her children that uh, one should not remain without work even for a moment. And therefore, Sri Krishna says that there is no harm in their performing their duties with attachment. No harm. Let them do it. At least they are good for something. They are doing something. They should therefore be encouraged to do 
more and more difficult work. Work with attachment has also its place in the evolution of man. From zero, if you have to reach hundred, you have to cross one, two, three, four. Every number has its own importance and place if you have to reach hundred. So if you are at the activity of not doing any work, having taken the birth, it is not the having reached the stage of uh, uh, having self-knowledge, having got the Brahmadnyan, that you are not doing anything. That is a different matter. But then again, that stage also, even after gaining Brahmadnyana, we keep on getting engaged in work. But without attachment, without getting in held in that work and that is the beauty of Karma Yoga. Work with attachment has its place in the evolution of man. Work all must. How? That is a matter of intelligence. That is the matter of enlightenment. Either working with attachment, either working with getting entangled in that work or working without any attachment working, knowing fully well it is the Lord's work and just doing it sincerely. That is what Sri Krishna has told in this 29th shloka to Arjuna and to all of us. So that is our reading for the day of 29th shloka of Karma Yoga of Srimad Gita. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Shri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Shri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Maha Jai Swami